Thank you for watching our video. Please give us a big like, subscribe to our channel for new videos every day with amazing cars. Leave us your opinion in the comment section on the video. Thank you. In a race delayed for two days by a freak snowstorm in southern Virginia, job hunter Nimokak charged to the front on a restart with 31 laps left on Monday and held off Kyle Benjamin to win the Alpha Energy Solutions 215 NASCAR Comping World Truck Series race by a mere .106 seconds. The victory was the first at Martinsville for Nimokak, who had two previous runner-up finishes at the .526 miles short track. This time, despite Benjamin pounding his rear bumper in the final corner, Nimokak earned the grandfather clock trophy that goes to the race winner. I finished second here multiple times so, tick, tock, we finally got a clock, Nimokak said. It's going to be awesome to take that thing home. Nimokak picked up his sixth career win in the truck series in his third start of the season, and he did it with the skeleton staff at the race shop owned by his father, Joe Nimokak. I can't thank everyone on our staff enough, everyone who pours their heart and soul into this deal," Nimokak said. There's only four guys in our shop this year, so it's really cool to be able to come back over here to the truck series. Congrats to all these guys, these guys deserve it. After Nimokak grabbed the top spot on lap 220 of 250, he held it through three subsequent cautions. Nimokak cleared Benjamin after the final restart on lap 244, and though Benjamin closed on the number 8 Chevrolet over the last 7 laps, finally getting to the bumper in the final corner, he needed a few more laps to make a concerted run at the victory. We had a really good truck, mostly for long runs, and unfortunately, it came down to a short run, said Benjamin, who was making his Martinsville debut. It's Martinsville so I figured I had to give him a run for his money in the last corner. Benjamin had a lead of more than one second over Todd Gilliland when a debris caution slowed the race on lap 214 and gave Nomikak the chance he needed on the subsequent restart. The shuffling of the order, at least, alleviated one case of divide and loyalties. David Gilliland was co-owner of the number 54 Toyota Benjamin was driving and his son Todd was behind the wheel of the number 4 Toyota of Kyle Busch Motorsports. After the restart on lap 220, Todd Gilliland brushed the wall and lost track position with a pit stop under caution on lap 234. He finished 14th. Pole winner Ben Rhodes led the first 23 laps on Saturday before rain and snow halted the race. With heavy snow falling Saturday night and early Sunday morning. NASCAR was forced to postpone the finish until Monday. Rhodes won both the first and second stages of the race, collecting two playoff points, but severe trouble with his right front tire on a lap 145 pit stop after the second stage dropped him to 15th in the running order. Rhodes never recovered from the loss of track position and came home 12th. Johnny Soder lost two laps changing a battery after losing power on lap 224 and getting rear-ended by Matt Crafton. Soder finished 19th but retained the series lead by 29 points over Grant Anfinger, who ran fourth on Monday. Britt Moffat, who pitted late for new tires, fought his way up to third as the finish and is third in points, 31 behind Soder. Thank you for watching our video. Please give us a big like, subscribe to our channel for new videos every day with amazing cars. Leave us your opinion in the comment section on the video. Thank you.